Thought we'd take a look at the Crowded House Deluxe Editions. These were supposed to come out last week actually, but they uh, got delayed. Certainly in the UK, these are delayed until the end of this week. I know some people in different regions have actually got theirs already as well. So as you can see, the packaging is a DVD size case. These are quite lovely hard cases, track listing on the back. This is the first album, of course, Crowded House. It's quite interesting, there's actually more of the artwork on show here than on the original record. So there's the original CD as a comparison. So you can see that Nick Seymour originally actually painted quite a bit more of this image. Uh, and that obviously would have been cropped into a square shape for the original album. So that's quite a nice touch on the deluxe edition. All of these follow the same format, which is a perfect band booklet. And the actual discs themselves, which are in a kind of oversized digipack kind of thing. Uh, it, it does do the overlapping discs, but thankfully there's nothing difficult about taking these discs in and out. Sometimes you get the packaging which has the fiddly clips at the bottom, but thankfully that doesn't apply here. So the track listing's on the back of the booklet and it's on the back of the box as well. Two different styles. And here, here's a quick flick through this booklet. Uh, all the booklets start off with a little note or an essay by somebody. Then they've all got lyrics and photos and single sleeves and all that kind of stuff. And then what happens is at the back there's a little interview with Jeremy Ansell who I spoke to for Super Deluxe Edition. Um, and Neil Finn and they just talk through the bonus material uh, on the second disc of each package which is what you're which is what you can see here in fact actually this one's got Nick as well so and normally at the back Nick talks about the artwork and how he came about to create the artwork because he's obviously responsible for the artwork for all the albums I've taken a listen to the audio on these discs and Certainly for the first three albums, it's noticeably louder. I mean, there's a bit of confusion over how remastered these are or aren't, but the volume certainly being cranked up on, on, these, on this album and on the second album in particular. But they're in no way brick walled. I mean, there's a lot more bottom end, I would say. Uh, that's really noticeable, especially on this album. But they sound great. Uh, the, the original CD that does sound quite flat in comparison to this. So. If you're worried about them not sounding any better or not being improved or just getting the same old audio, um, certainly with the first three albums, I don't think that's an issue. Temple of Low Men, same thing. Again, great attention to detail with the artwork, even deluxe editions written here backwards in the same typeface. That's the rear. Two discs. As, as before, this is definitely louder. The mastering's a lot louder. I don't know whether that's to do with the new transfer. Uh, they're supposedly not remastered, these discs, but I've heard things that are remastered that sound less different than these do. There's definitely more bottom end here, and I think it's quite a bit louder, but again, nothing really to worry about. The dynamics are all intact and sounds pretty good. I haven't had a chance to listen to all the bonus material, so I'm not really going to comment on that at the moment. So that's Temple of Lowman. Now, Woodface. Some very interesting um, stuff in the booklet for this album. This is probably the last album out of the ones that I've listened to, which sounds noticeably louder and kind of different. A bit more bottom end to it. Because Together Alone, which we'll get onto in a second, doesn't sound as more or less the same to me. Here's the deluxe edition done in the right style. Two discs. That's the back. Yeah, now this is really interesting because there's some variations on the artwork. What could have been, you know. So you can see there's one at the top there. The original idea was to put the faces of the band members on the cover on the eyes and the nose and the mouth, but that got ditched and it just ended up being literally a wood face, which is how the album got its title. Just give you a quick flick through this booklet. 
lyrics. Sleeves to the singles. In the UK there was a hell of a lot of singles from this album. And most of them were CD1 and CD2, so it's quite a lot of designs. And again on the back here, this is Jeremy and Neil just talking through the demos. As they point out here that all the most, actually not all I ask, but most of these home demos that Neil wrote with his brother, they were all ended up on various Finn Brothers CD singles in the mid-90s for the first Finn album. So that's Woodface. While we talk about Woodface, I thought you might like to see, if you haven't seen this, this is my original CD. This is the promo CD for Woodface. So this would have come out at the time. And it's got this kind of weird fold out cover. So it's got a die cut cover there. And you've got different, different flaps, different way of looking at it. There's another one. You can see that the disc is in here. That's it. So this is the original album. And the booklet's the same. But there's another version of the thing. It's quite cool. But there you go, a little diversion. That's the wood face promo. So Together Alone, my favourite Crowded House album by far. Fantastic production by Youth. There's quite a lot of interesting demos on here actually. There's three versions of Fingers of Love, including um, a studio tape where you can hear youth talking over the playback. Now I have listened to the, the new remaster and the original CD and there really is very little difference at all. So this is probably the first album where the audio hasn't really changed very much. So the, their description of not really remastering it applies to this album probably much more than the others. So as with all these deluxe editions, the discs have been redesigned. Some of you might recognize this from the Distant Sun single, this pattern. So the original kind of swirl, this was the original Together Alone. That's been replaced with that. Fantastic photo on the back. And this is the booklet to Together Alone. David Hepworth, actually the, the music journalist, he writes about the album in the front. The usual photos, lyrics. That's one good thing about the oversized packaging, it gives you more space for the book. I know some people might kind of be a bit grumpy about the fact that these don't fit into the usual CD shelves, your, your Billy IKEA shelves or whatever you might have. But it does allow you to have a lot more space for the book. So that's Together Alone. Incidentally, when I was getting out my original CD, some of you may be aware I've ditched my jewel cases for storage purposes and to save a bit of space. But I found in here, I found my little lyric booklets for Together Alone. The original CD booklet doesn't have the lyrics in it. So there's a couple of CD singles in the UK and a, a, it was a little bonus item getting the lyrics. I think you had to buy a CD, one CD you got part one and then another CD single you got part two. I can't remember which single it was, maybe it was spread across two singles. So getting the lyrics was quite a big thing at the time. So this is Afterglow, not really a proper album of course but it has been included in this reissue campaign. This was issued in 1999 originally. In fact, I've got my original CD here. I reckon a lot of you will have this one. Came with a bonus disc with a, an audio interview with Neil Finn talking about the album. So that hasn't been replicated here, but obviously you do get a bonus disc of all the extra tracks. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird in a way. This album was a sort of mopping up exercise, but they've now done a, an extra bit of mopping up and given us another disc. Two discs, and here's the booklet. So Pete Perfidis uh, writes the notes uh, at the front here, talks about the album and also talks about Help Is Coming, the special vinyl single that he worked on with 
his wife Caitlin Moran and Neil Finn last year. There's some more notes actually from David Hepworth here. Again, lyrics. I mean, these are £15, which normally you'd think that's a bit pricey for a two CD set. But I think given the packaging, given the quality of the packaging, the quality of the artwork reproduction, I think £15 is well worth it. It's good value. I don't have time on earth, but this is Intriga. This is probably the one Crowded House album I've never really got into. I'm a massive fan of the band, but you know sometimes you just can't get into an album. So I'm going to give it a good go and try again with this particular record. So these are the booklets. The notes at the front are by producer Jim Scott and he talks quite affectionately about working with Neil and how Neil was the only man to ever send him a first class plane ticket because um, Jim had to travel from LA to Auckland, obviously a very long journey. And he points out that um, the cost of the ticket was as much as some album budget, so he, I think he was very happy with Neil's generosity. And even though this is quite a recent album, just like everything else, it comes with a bonus disc. There's some live tracks, studio demos, alternative versions. So I hope that's given you an idea and a feel for the packaging of these reissues. For most of you, these are out on Friday, and of course the vinyl's out as well. Um, and a couple of these albums have never been issued on vinyl before, notably Together Alone, so I'm very much looking forward to getting the vinyl of that. So this has been Paul from Super Deluxe Edition showing off the new Crowded House Deluxe reissues.